All right, so you want to surf the internet and you want to do it anonymously so that all these nasty, nasty, nasty little websites that are always sending you all these rotten little cookies to feed you ads for junk you don't want. Well, guess what? I have found a distribution for you, and this is called the Amne Amnesiac Incognito Live System. That's right, it's tail 0.12, and we're going to look at that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, welcome to the Amnesiac Incognito Live System. And this is a live disk which is allow, which allows you to surf the internet. It has everything you need for surfing the internet and all the applications are anonymized. This uses Tor network to achieve this. Now, the first thing that you're greeted with once the disk boots up is, do you want more options? Okay. And then it asks you if you want more options again. <laughs> let's keep clicking the button. I'll tell you why, I'll just hit log in. And let's see what you get with this. Okay, well now that we've logged into the system, you can see this is using a simple GNOME 2 desktop, and that's common with a Debian distribution. Remember, this is not bleeding edge. This is as stable as it gets, and Debian is well known for its stability. Okay. So let's have a look and see what kind of applications you get with this. You do get the Ice Weasel web browser, which is Firefox. It's just an unbranded version. You also get um, Pigeon Internet Messenger. You get a terminal up here and the Claws email client. Okay, and then uh, in accessories, a few little tools uh, to get the most out of the system. You get a few graphics programs as well, G the uh, GIMP and Inkscape. In internet, you get uh, the mail, as I indicated before, the Ice Weasel web browser, Pigeon, Internet Messenger, and Unsafe Web Browser. Ooh. Huh. I don't even want to look at that. You get OpenOffice with this, and then, of course, you get Poet. What is that? <laughs> don't know. And in sound and video, pretty much you get all the players that you would need for running pretty much anything. Audacity is a magnificent audio editor. You get an audio CD extractor, Brazero disc burner, a movie player, Pativi, video editor for editor editing your video files, a sound recorder, and Traverso. Okay, and then a few system tools for tweaking the system. And then of course you can uh, configure your persistent volume, delete the persistent volume, and this is the Tails USB installer. This will allow you to install this image onto a USB disk. This way you can take it with you. So the nice thing about this is, let's say you're going to a public library or a public uh, using a public computer, you could reboot the computer with a live disk and then anonymously surf the internet. This is a great idea. I think it's, um, you know, especially if you don't want people sending you tracking cookies that sort of thing. So all in all, I'm really liking what I'm seeing here. Let's have a look and see what some of these items up here are because I don't recognize some of these icons. Okay, this is a bandwidth graph here. You get a clipboard manager. Okay, a nice virtual keyboard. That could come in handy for some people. And so all in all, this looks pretty good. And then of course we have documentation here where uh, you can get more information on the operating system. And it tells you pretty much, this website here will tell you pretty much everything you need to know about the operating system. I'll also have a link in the show notes below so that you can visit the uh, developer's website and you can find out more information about it. But great news for those of you who really want anonymous web surfing. Mm -hmm. 